Hello, everyone. My name is Jesse Glode. I'm here with Nancy. You'll hear from her in a couple seconds here. And this is our presentation for Ashford's TLC um, about how the next generation digital learning environment impacts the digital divide, um, which for our purposes is we're calling the equity of higher education. And Nancy, take it away. All right. Thank you, Jesse. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Nancy. And to give you a few quick facts about myself, over here on the right-hand side, you'll see uh, I teach here a three courses in the Department of General Education. I'm also here for my third degree here at Ashford for my PhD in education. And aside from being a dedicated instructor, I am a lover of everything white chocolate. I love Army 500 and I love just being outdoors and of course, taking care of my golden cat, Clay Matthews. Now, if you have any questions for me, you can go ahead and email me here at my faculty email address. All right, Jesse. Thank you very much. Uh, this is me. I'm a special education teacher. I'm also um, an adjunct, Ashford adjunct professor um, for less than a year here at um, Ashford. And I'm also a PhD student, um, Google for Education certified trainer. And on the left hand side here, you can see my family, my puppy, and my Twitter handle at the bottom there. All right, Nancy. Thank you, Jesse. Now, before we dive into next generation digital learning environment, I just wanted to quickly break down some keywords to help us along. Now, for starters, we know equity means fairness, and equity education means fairness for all learners to receive education without obstacles and barriers hindering their learning process. Next, uh, the digital divide focuses on technology and having access to technology while some people do not have that type of access, for example, within their homes. And access needs educational tools are within reach for uh, learning engagement. For instance, when students are writing papers and completing homework. Now, what influence does the digital divide have? For starters, the digital divide influences factors such as socioeconomic level, meaning lower income status uh, will lead to students who are less likely to have access to technology for learning. And since costs and devices are also influential factors leading to the digital divide, lower income students and families might not have the means to pay for technology and devices for learning. And that is something I have witnessed as an associate faculty member. Uh, students are struggling to access technology and to have the appropriate devices to engage in their own learning. And with my diverse student population, these struggles are real. So being able to lessen the digital divide in higher education equals greater access, greater student success. Now, before we move on to a few images, I just want to reiterate a few keywords. Equality equals the same amount for everyone, okay? So that means equality does not equal equity, and therefore, ineffective equality does not equal equity, which is fairness. Now, let's take a look at the two images here. For each image, equality represents the same size box and bike, rather than equity, which is the appropriate help for each person in both images. So as we can see, equality is not as beneficial as equity, which again is fairness for everyone. And that same concept in these images uh, representing the vein of equity can be applied not only to the concept of equity education, but also to technological equity and the digital divide, meaning Students should have their access to learning through technology without barriers, such as socioeconomic level take a center stage. So basically, as technology becomes less expensive, access to technology for learning will increase. And that means students will be able to engage the learning process in and out of the classroom by increasingly using various tools, which means technology and education is enhanced, and the digital divide can be decreased. So fewer barriers will close the digital divide while increasing access to technology in education. Essentially, equity with technology and the digital divide work on the same concept as displayed in these two images. All right, Jesse. All right, thank you. 
Um, so before we get into the NGDLE, we're going to talk for a second about the impact of information and communication technology in higher education and society. Um, Nancy had mentioned this briefly before, as ICT, which includes both hardware and software, becomes cheaper and more customizable slash individualized, access to information increases. Um, like I said, Nancy mentioned this, and it, this is also a concept that has been um, studied um, in depth. What creates this increased access? Well, the internet, especially Web 2.0 um, and web-based web apps, uh, movements like the Creative Commons movement and user-created content slash components, um, such as Chrome operating system, which is fully customizable. More information is available to more people than any other time in human history. And in fact, virtually all of the key dimensions of human material well-being, poverty, literacy, health, freedom, and education, the world is an extraordinarily better place than it was just a few, just a couple centuries ago. And we can see that here um, by this um, pretty interesting and important graph here, world population living in extreme poverty from 1820 to 2015. We have the least amount of people, at least percentage-wise, um, living in extreme poverty. And this is gets coupled, and I posit that this is one of the driving factors, which is this ICT here. Um, as ICT penetration goes up, um, you know, the global absolute poverty um, has been falling. So next generation digital learning environment, what is it? It is an idea of how distance learning in higher education um, is done and will be done in the future. It also is a conversation ex and exploring what the essential components of an online learning environment for both teachers and professors and students consists of. Um, furthermore, as principal functional domains are interoperability, personalization, analytics, advising and learning assessment, collaboration and accessibility and universal design. So the example that I'm using here, Google for Education tools, these tools, Google Drive, Docs, Slides and Sheets are really important because they are these web-based apps and the best part is that they are not device or location specific, okay? One of the most important components of the NGDLE um, is what a concept called learning tools interoperability, uh, which means that, for example, YouTube videos work nicely within a learning management system uh, for the, for example, the one that we use for Ashford, which is Canvas, okay? As we get to this slide here, the equity of higher education and the NGDLE and this uh, graph here, we see that the penetration rate of ICT and the internet um, has grown a lot in the time period from 2000 to 2019. However, the penetration rate is still under 60% globally. So it's important that the custom, the NGDLE as a customizable part of ICT with uh, learning tools interoperability will move the future, uh, move as society moves toward the future, more people are connected to the internet to access higher education, that this um, availability is for everyone to help close that digital divide. And Nancy. All right. Now, uh, with the growth of technology for learning, uh, learning management systems were able to grow in popularity. Now, fast forward through technological advances, and we arrive at the next generation digital learning environment. Now, regarding NGDLE, the University of Wisconsin system, uh, for example, serves more than 160,000 students. The UW system has 13 four-year schools and 13 two-year campuses that have partnered with seven of the four-year universities. And using a learning management system has worked well for the UW system, but organic growth just naturally led to NGDOE implementation. Also, uh, one key component of this NGDLE implementation for the EW system is accessibility for all students, which leads to equity in higher education, which is fairness in education. Now, to wrap up these quick uh, facts here, uh, I will say the partnership of the EW system using a learning management system and growing into the NGDLE, uh, technological equity in higher education, 
is achievable and represents fair for all. Jesse? All right. So here are references here um, that we've talked about uh, throughout this presentation, as well as the technology that we've utilized, which is important to note that these um, pieces of technology are part of and you know NGDLE and also help to close the digital divide because they're web 2.0 apps, um, Google Slides, Google Hangouts, Screencastify. So this presentation that we created um, to talk about the NGDLE and closing the digital divide utilizes uh, this technology as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.